you know, the kind of conduct that we view as real dangerous to citizens. I'm not suggesting that 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 being a car thief is irrelevant or or uh, appropriate, uh, but given that what we have here is a a low level offender who commits um, uh, possessory of narcotics crimes and car car cases and credit card cases, it's not a risk to the community. Nor is is uh, this the kind of case, the kind of defendant, given the uh, coronavirus pandemic that is going on and the obvious dangers to both him, the county jail community, and for that matter, the rest of us when the county jail is overly crowded with low-level offenders, uh, I, I would ask that you're on a release, Mr. McCutcheon, uh, with uh, whatever uh, conditions the court deems appropriate. Thank you, counsel. And uh, as I looked at the public safety assessment, Ms. Paley, he appears to have uh, pending charges in Atlantic County. Can you speak to those? Yes, Judge. Those are for automobile thefts as well as, Your Honor, gives me a moment. I have it written down. Brigantine car burglaries that were originally released on a summons from 9-12-2019 that were indicted 12-10-2019 and are currently pending. That's the only information I have on those. I couldn't get into e-courts because I didn't have appropriate access to be able to pull the indictment and get the particulars. All right. If someone from my staff, uh, while I review the submissions, just take a look uh, at Mr. McCutcheon's screen and see what the uh, status, just a minute, Mr. McCutcheon. Uh, what the status are of, uh, is of those charges and whether he's pending either status or uh, sentence if it's played. Um, Mr. McCutcheon uh, wanted to be heard. Mr. Anglada, shall I turn on this microphone? Please. Thank you. Uh, Mr. McCutcheon, let's just wait for your mic to go live. All right. Can you hear me, Mr. McCutcheon? Yes, sir. All right. You wanted to say something, sir? I'll Remind you, you're being recorded. Anything you say could be used against you. Go ahead. Uh, with all due respect, I do not gang bang. I'm not a part of no, 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 no bloods, no, no, none of that. I don't affiliate with none of that. Uh, and I have, a, I have a 72 year old aunt at home right now, and a three year old, and a three year old little cousin at home right now. And my aunt just got out of surgery, and she got tumors, she got uh, lemurs on her brain right now. And I'm supposed to be there while she's on bed rest, and I'm, and I'm not there, and I haven't talked to him. And I keep hearing that people dying out there with coronavirus. Now, please, now, please, now, please go home to them, please. I, I, I really need to be there for them, please, you know what I mean? Well, I'll beg you, you know, and I'll promise you I'll show up and cook, you know? I promise you. I really need to be there for them. I promise you I'll show up and cook. I, I, I'll even bring my three-year-old to court with me. It's not my three-year-old, it's my little cousin, but I'll bring her to court with me. I, I promise you I'll, I'll show up and cook, I promise you. I will really need to be there for them. She's supposed to be on bed, right? She's supposed to take our medicine. I'm supposed to be there with her. I know I messed up. But I, I apologize, man. I promise you I'll be there. I, I don't want a car in front of this bag, you feel me? I don't want to keep my pride, you feel me? But I promise you. I just, I just, don't, I just don't want my aunt to die, you feel me? That's the, that's the only thing. She could die at any moment while I'm in here. And what a what three-year-old going to go, you feel me? She, she, she can't do that. She only three. All right, Mr. McCutcheon, I'll take that into consideration. Thank you. And uh, Gail or Rosario, do we know anything about Mr. McCutcheon's pending charges? Your Honor, I looked it up. It's Maria. Hi, Maria. Okay. Thank you. Um, he is scheduled for an S-1 on April 28th right now. That's the current schedule. All right. Thank you very much. Give me a few moments to review my notes. Thank you, Maria. Court finds by clearing convincing evidence that no amount of monetary bail, no monetary conditions, or accommodation thereof would reasonably assure the defendant's appearance in court when required and the protection of the safety of any other person or the community, and therefore pretrial detention of the defendant is hereby ordered. My reasons for this decision are as follows. The nature and circumstances of the offense is charged. 
the defendant's commission against the victim strangers only a short time after his latest adult commitment to the county jail last month shows that his conduct appears to be escalating. The court also has considered the weight of the evidence against the defendant, considering any admissibility issues, and they include personal observation of law enforcement, video surveillance from store and neighborhood and recovered vehicle and Walmart evidence. The court has also considered the history and characteristics of the defendant, including his ties to the community. The defendant does appear to have some ties to the community. These ties, however, do not appear to be strong. The court has also considered the criminal history as reflected in the PSA, which is very extensive, showing a juvenile record of great length and a growing adult record. The court has also uh, considered the record concerning his appearance when in court when required as reflected in the PSA is an extensive failure to appear history as a juvenile. The court has also considered at the time of the present arrest or offense, defendant was on other release, namely pending car burglary charges as on summonses, showing lesser forms of release have proven inadequate to ensure defendant's compliance. The court has also considered the nature and seriousness of danger to others posed by this defendant's release. The defendant's escalating criminal conduct, particularly during a state of emergency, shows that he's a danger to public safety. The court has also considered the release recommendation of pretrial services using the risk assessment instrument where release was not recommended. The court has considered weighed and balanced the PSA and has found it to be very weighty evidence supporting detention. The defendant presents as an offender for whom lesser forms of release and prior contact with the criminal justice system have done little to correct him and little to prevent him from endangering the public. The defendant, if not a master criminal, is now, despite his age, an experienced journeyman who commits offenses whenever the opportunity presents. Left to his own devices, the public is endangered by his conduct of entering private vehicles on neighborhood streets, increasing the potential for violent interactions with the public. Defendant will be held. He has seven days in which to appeal. Thank you, counsel. What's the pick date, Your Honor? Pick date appears to be on May 28th before Judge Levin, if we are back to normal operations. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. Your Honor, that concludes my business before this honorable court. May I be excused? Pleasure, Mr. Nevada. Thank you. Thank you. Same, Judge. Thank you, Ms. Bain. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Judge. Okay, that's the morning's list.